2,000 years ago, the Greek astronomers Hipparchus and Ptolemy created a system to quantify the apparent brightness, or the wattage received on the Earth's surface, of stars. They classified star brightness on a scale from magnitude 1 for the brightest visible star to magnitude 6 for the dimmest star. Other stars were then placed based on how they compared with the brightest star and the dimmest star. This system was refined considerably to give it a bigger range and to provide some mathematical foundations between the two until what we ended up with is the following formula where if we have two stars if two stars of magnitude M1 and M2 have brightnesses of B1 and B2 respectively, then M2 minus M1 equals 2.5 times the log of B1 divided by B2. So just a couple real quick things. Typically, M2 tends to be the dimmer star. So this tends to be larger than this one, which tends to be small. And this tends to be the brighter. And this tends to be the dimmer. So this tends to be the larger one. And this tends to be the smaller one. But there's our formula. So let's use it for a couple of things. First, let's compare two stars together. So let's go back to Hipparchus and Ptolemy, and let's look at the brightness of the stars that were around when they were trying to do this. We have a magnitude 1 star and a magnitude 6 star. So we're going to call this M1 and assign it a B1. And this is M2, and we'll assign it a B2. So this is our dimmer star with a bigger magnitude. So we're going to start with the formula, M2 minus M1 equals 2.5 log B1 over B2. That's 6 minus 1 equals 2.5 log B1 over B2. 6 minus 1 is 5. We divide by 2.5 which gives us 2 equals log of b1 over b2. So 10 squared equals b1 over b2, which means 10 squared is 100. That means that b1 is equal to 100 times b2. And now we've successfully figured out that b1 is, roughly, is 100 times brighter than b2. Well, the other thing that we might want to do is suppose that we know a little bit more about 1 and we know about the brightnesses. So here, we're trying to find the magnitude of a star that is 650 times as bright as 1 of magnitude 7.25. So we're going to start by saying that M2 we'll call M. We don't know how bright it is, but we'll say M1 is 7.25. We then will say that B2 is equal to 650 times B1. So we go to our formula, M2 minus M1 equals 2.5 times the log of B1 over B2. This becomes M minus 7.25 equals 2.5 log of B1 over 650 B1. Well, this goes away. So this is m minus 7.25 equals 2.5 log of 1 over 650. So then we add the 7.25 over to the other side. And notice that 1 over 650 is 650 to the minus 1 power, so we can move that power down to the front, and m is equal to 7.25 minus 2.5 log of 650. So now all we have to do is figure out what this is, so we get our calculator out. 7.25 minus 2.5 times 650 log equals. And so this means that this m is approximately equal to 0 0.2177. That's the magnitude 
of a star that's 650 times brighter than one of a magnitude 7.25.